he had gone through, who knows? It could have been the other way around. Neo gonna get a headshot. Almost a second one there, but he leaves Snacks alone in connector. He does have vision for the bomb, but this is very tough for him to try and stop, especially because they have a smoke if they put that up. Oh, Snacks picking up that headshot on the other side. Cold Sierra trying to make it through. He's gonna tap the bomb once, and Snacks jumping into the side. Try and look over that smoke. Defuse still not happening in Snacks. He's in a good position. He's gonna try and hold it down here. Cold Sierra Snacks coming for the smoke. Gonna be sprayed. Oh, what? Snacks! Picking up that kill, and that's a huge win. Map point here for Virtus Pro. Unbelievable, especially that first kill that we here in a very, very silly manner. It's one thing for Snacks to lurk around, but then Taz is there, then Neo is out in the open alone. There's there's really almost no attempt for any kind of a teamwork. Fur is low enough to die to a grenade, but Pasha gonna be sneaking in no scoping. FNX, and now Fur, that 1HE grenade from Pasha could settle this round that would be so painful for the SK team. Sneaking down, just trying to stay in the back lines. Fur doesn't want to get spotted. Pasha's very close, making a little bit of noise, and oh my god, he gets that shot! Absolutely ridiculous, and that's gonna be the round versus Pro. They pick it up regardless, and all hail Papa Pasha. This is absolutely ridiculous. Just look at this. I'm wondering if it was the footsteps, because he made some footsteps, and Taco could have heard it. Yeah, and there it is, but Cold was stuck, and that's just like that game of chicken and a jumping headshot from Snacks. This is getting ridiculous. Now he has an op to play with as well if he wants, but he's gonna hit that one shot Taco on one HP. No way, Snacks. Another big clutch for VP. That would be a... That would be ridiculous. Taco with the peak, takes the jump, spots out Snacks, hoping to get lucky through the smoke. And Snacks knows exactly where Taco's playing from now. Taco, is this real life? Are you really going to try and jump through the smoke? Two seconds left, one second left, and Snacks gets the kill with the Molotov! <laughs> Over towards that side, and man, he's just staying so quiet here. They have no idea, and Pasha will be able to get a kill until Cold wall bangs him. <laughs> That's a nice shot. Yeah, he was waiting for an awfully long time, but... Um... See, Cold, he's got to be careful, and he's just going to straight put the bomb down. He's so sure that Snack is flanking him, and that might actually be the end of him. Cold going to be walking in behind the chicken coop, still staying alive. Snacks creeping in behind the rock. They know where each other are, and Cold just needs a little bit of a bullet onto Snacks, and he's going to be out of the round, going for the spray. Oh my god, right through! Another wall bang coming in, and that's going to be an 11-4 scoreline here, favoring versus Pro in the first half. Second. They are not done yet. Virtus Pro could very easily come back and win this game. Absolutely. Especially considering how Razor's on a half by now, so that's gonna turn things into I mean that's gonna turn things into a 14-14 situation. Unless Bondic can find an open kill, Bialy gonna shut him down. And Bialy with the double spray. Bondic and Zero no longer here. And that sets it up for Bialy to just continue his reign of terror. Three kills now for him, four kills now for him, and Angel gonna get shut down by Neo. And so a no. very Oh, that's a that's a shame, Bialy. He had the quad kill, he died after the round was won. Bialy, why? And Stiko up on the hut right now. He's gonna get a little bit of help out and Bondic getting a double kill, but they will still lose another two players. Still a two on three here. And Taz opening up with a big double kill. Hellraisers, they need this round. They can't really let go of it. And standing in the fire there, Dead Fox gonna end up going down. That's a triple kill for Taz. And that leaves Zero. Has not got a single kill yet in this map. And now is in the one on two the bomb down on the B-bomb side. And he's gonna end up going down. Quad kill for Taz, closing out that round and just delivering a huge blow to Hellraisers here again. So it really come down to oh. what they have in store. There we go, Money HE does a bit of damage to Taz and it's just gonna be a straight rush right through the smoke and there it is, Anders. The A takeover, but Bondic alive on dog walk. He's picking up kill after kill, two for him. And that sets it up for Zero to get in there to deny the plant and Angel now in a 1v1 versus Neo. Neo's only got the 6 HP. But these are the kind of situations he thrives in. We'll see if he can actually succeed in getting the drop on Angel, and he very well might. Angel is not expecting him to come from on high. This is unbelievable. If Neo actually catches him out, does he realize where Angel's coming from? The footsteps. Angel! No way! Neo with 6 HP ends the round with 3 kills and the 1v1 clutch. Doing wonders at the moment with Matic. I'm. I'm Hoping to see how it develops going forward. This lineup is getting better and better every time we see them. This tournament has been great for them. They're out of the group so far. And this tournament, this is just a decided second or third seed, basically, at this point. They've already lost the first map, so let's see what happens. This should be a foregone conclusion, but... Oh. oh, my God. Oh, Pasha! Through the smoke, denies the plant, turns and catches Twist before he can respond. Neo's got vent and Invertus Pro suddenly steal around out of nowhere. Low HP on Dennis as well. Pasha's gone massive. And I'm not talking about the gym in the morning. He's massive right now on the server. <laughs> Snacks will close it out. That is brilliant. That was crazy.
Oh, perfect. From all off. He can put it in now. He knows he's there. It's going to push Snacks out. He's taking damage down to 20, down to gone. Nothing at all. That girl's hit the shot. Tap trade. But now the AWP of Olaf's going to try and get a better position. Smoke on it already. And does he try and hold Bates it out? Back still on the AWP. And now he's on it. And the miss from Snacks. Tax, Taz, whatever his Tax. name is. Doesn't matter. It's Olaf that's going to go down. Or well, the boys on the left. I like it. mixing up names. Tax. It's my new thing. We've got what? We got Skidooey. <laughs> We've got Froberg, and now we've got Tax. <laughs> Froberg. <laughs> Certainly does. 2 HP. Puts Neo in the corner. Vent not blown out either. All he has to do is watch the doorways. As soon as the vent goes, that's his information cue. And not only that, Pash is in a position where he can cover that off. Nade goes toward the door. So two does a smoke and return in front of Pasha. Thankfully, that Nade didn't find Taco as he waits toward decontamination. Pasha, though, lining them up. He's got a good chance. They want to try and find the smoke. The plant. Taco's going to get it down. He's only on the 2 HP. Stays inside of the smoke. Can't get away. And a reload coming in from Neo could cost him because Cold now on a 1 versus 4. Tries to spot through, but he's going to be held off. It's going to be the round. Virtus Pro, I'm pretty sure they're already on the defuse. They've got to get off, though, with that kill, Cold. Oh, but now it's done. Virtus Pro is going to take map 2. It was a very back and forth affair, but nuke works for them second time in a row back out to where Snacks is. That's the key thing here. Snacks is undetected for now, so the terrorist could think it's an open bomb site. Oh, the jump might give him away now. Not 100% sure it was heard. Pash is going to take back up and X as well. He was the one anchoring this position. So they're going to commit, and now it's favorable for Virtus Pro because of Snacks. Fur goes down. They've got a brilliant crossfire set on the fact that they lost the man inside of the site. And Virtus Pro set up accordingly. Taco's going to take down Neo, but it's still a two versus three against SK, and that's just gotten even worse. His Fallen can't find the shot through the wall. It's gonna be Snacks taking him down, grabbing the AK, or excuse me, the AWP as well, and closing wow. it on the Taco as he rotates back. That's so smart from Snacks there. He knows he's let his teammate down a little bit there, allowing him to walk up towards mid. It's a couple of clicks and falls back down, which I absolutely love seeing. Let's see if they can actually rotate in well enough here. Grenade goes up, but Cajun picking up two kills anyway, shutting them down, and Megis finally, or Cajun finally gonna be out of the round there, but still a good situation here for Dignitas. Oh. The parting shot from Bialy, though, that could change everything. Brings it back into a three on three. And now Taz chimes in. He takes that Rubino. Taz comes out of nowhere on Heaven. And it's going to be Config in a 1v3 now. And he's been spotted by Taz as well. Bit of a burst shot. Taz styling. And well, Config, what are you going to do? You've got 40 seconds, or I mean, 40 HP. And the bomb has been planted already. I mean, there is, there's pretty much nothing that can be done here. He hasn't got the Fuse Kit either. Great move from Taz that obviously caught Dignitas entirely off guard from a 4v3 into a one round. They didn't lose anybody. Taz with a quad kill versus Pro winning the T-side pistol. Going up and even a little bit of a grenade there to keep Cajun out. Just some blind shots coming through, but things are looking very good for Virtus Pro at the moment. A little bit of damage being put into Neo, actually. He's going to be going down. Rubino with the C set 75 to get the kill. Four versus three. They do not have a defuse kit, so it's going to have to be quick here for Dignitas. And with the rifle out of the round, you've got to think that might not be possible any longer. Rubino is going to reclaim it, running through the fire, trying to catch Bialy off guard, but he's playing very well at the moment. Bialy, triple kill in the round for him. Cage in the last one left, quad kill. Bialy absolutely wrecking up the kills here. And that's going to be 6-3 as a scoreline. He can't deny it. All right, that is something we haven't actually seen a lot on Nuke. That ramp brush used to be such a popular feature of old Nuke, even back in 1.6. But uh, we haven't seen it too much on this one. Quick trade coming in. Snacks and Magus out of the round, pushing through into the fire there. Taz taking a fair bit of damage. Config and Robino, can they keep this one alive? Robino? Down in Toxic, just waiting inside that glass. He's getting the spray in, but he can't get the kill. And now the UMP is all that's left here. Config pushing through. He's going to get the one, but denied by Neo, who gets a quad kill. And Taz is on the defuse, and he's going to get it too. Very good round here for VP, and that was the big test. Four on four scenario now, and Dignitas have been so on point with the retakes. No reason for them to try and risk it and throw it away. Let Magis go to work. That's a great Molotov they're putting out, and Bialy hitting the headshot. Very well done. Great coordination there, but Cajun still picked up the kill on Pasha, and now Rubino in CT spawn, spraying right through, getting a little bit more damage from him. They actually gave out. Now, another retake attempt coming in. Three on three versus Pro. If anything is going to work, it's got to be this, and Bialy doing it all on his own. Quad kill. He's looking for the ace. He's going to get it as well. Bialy really stepping up for his team, and that was a much needed round. Okay, Michael Jordan quote where a basketball analogy yeah, yeah. though, really, really. So the team, thanks for yeah, well, good stuff. So, <laughs> so the team actually said to Michael Jordan, okay, they said, listen, like, like you being the star of the team doesn't matter that much, you know, because there's no I in, in team, you know. And then Michael Jordan. Was